This was my very first Ayaka video, and it was one of the first videos I ever made. Hi guys, it's Invain here, and welcome to another Genshin Impact video. I sent it out into the abyss, not knowing what would happen, and well... So now it only feels right that almost 12 months later, I'm showing off my current Ayaka and her full potential as it is now. Welcome back bullies, today we're spending an additional 3000 resident on Ayaka, crowning and leveling her talents, refarming her artifacts and showing off how she looks now. Real quick, I stream 3 times a week on Twitch so make sure to follow me there if you want to catch me live and you already know them, they have been supporting the channel for the last couple videos. Morgan & Morgan is America's largest injury law firm with over 800 lawyers in 49 states. Injured and don't know where to start? With Morgan & Morgan it's so easy, you can submit your case details, sign contracts, upload documents, and medical details all from your cell phone. With Morgan & Morgan, you can submit a claim without ever having to leave the couch. And you can even text your attorney and legal team throughout the duration of your case. In 8 clicks or less, you can submit a claim to Morgan & Morgan. So if you're ever injured in an accident, you can check out Morgan & Morgan. You can submit a claim in 8 clicks or less without having to leave your couch. For more information, go to ForThePeople.com or dial pound law that's pound 529 from your cell phone. Thank you again, Morgan & Morgan for sponsoring this video and supporting the channel. So welcome back bullies. I really wanted to make this new video about Ayaka, first of all because I've gotten Shenha since that original video I made, I farmed some new artifacts and I have a couple new weapon choices. The second is because my current Ayaka video, which is on the channel, is the third most viewed video on my channel, but it's like the fourth video I ever made. It's really old and I really wanted to update it. Also really quickly, I may have already done some attempts at the Miss Splitter offline. Clearly it didn't go that well because well we're seven pages in and I still haven't gotten anything and I'm broke so we're probably gonna skip that for now I tried on the very first banner to get Miss Splitter I tried on the second banner to get Miss Splitter I tried on the current banner to get Miss Splitter I don't think it's happening but that's okay we're still gonna persevere regardless so my plan for this video is I'm gonna be farming some more Blizzard Strayer pieces for Ayanka while I talk about my experience with her over the last 11 months we're gonna talk about what I enjoyed what I didn't we're gonna talk about how she can Pens to other cryo units and whether cryo is still good at all. And finally, we're going to set her up with a different kind of team comp versus the one I did in my original video, and we're going to see how that works as well. As of the last video, she finished on 2.1k attack, she had 35 crit rate, 230 ish crit damage, which is honestly really, really solid. ER is a little bit low, 111%, but she has the Ananoma Kageuchi, which is R5, that actually gives her about 60% of the energy she needs as long as I'm using the E quite frequently, so it kind of solves a lot of her energy recharge issues. We also finished off with a four piece of Blizzard Stray set and I flexed my flower because I actually had a really cracked flower with a lot of crit damage on it, but overall that's how my Ayaka finished last time. Since then, my plan now is to upgrade her talents a little bit more, her auto attack and her E. We're going to give her better artifacts, by better I mean for mono cryo only. I'm not sure if I'll be able to get something more suitable for her. And the biggest change, we're going to switch the weapon. I I know I've been trying to get Miss Splitter, it's not been very successful for me. So instead, well, I don't think we're going to be using any of these three weapons. We're going to be switching to our Hytham signature, Light of Foliar Incision. Unless I've pronounced that wrong. There is a 90% chance I've pronounced that wrong. But this weapon has a pretty high base attack, more than I've currently got, and a bunch of crit damage. So even though the passive is kind of wasted, we're not building EM on her, it's still a massive stat stick that should be roughly 15% more damage than the Ananoma. Let's go farm some more artifacts. Don't look at the resin. I know I'm capped. It's bad. The number one thing I've enjoyed over the last 11 months of playing her is that she's super simple to play. You press the E, you do a little dash, you burst. It's that simple. You don't need to do some fancy combos. You don't need to really juggle any cooldowns. It's really, really unga bunga. What I haven't enjoyed is her dash. Even after these 11 months and a couple patches to try to fix her, they've rounded out some of her dashing, but you still constantly get stuck on things throughout the world. Other things that I'm not a big fan of is the fact that in terms of the cryo units in the game right now, she's probably top two, if not the best. Some people might argue that Ganyu is a little bit better. Some people might say Ayaka is a bit better. Personally, it just depends on the content. I think Ayaka is a little bit better in the Abyss. Ganyu is better in the Overworld. And for things like commissions, bounties, just have range advantage. As for whether, oh God, I'm dying. <laughs> As for whether freeze is still good, the meta really has shifted a lot. We went from purely freeze plus melt plus vaporize is the best three reactions. If you're not using it, you're kind of trolling. If you're not using dendro in hyperbloom, virgin, or 
spread and aggravate your trolling. So the meta definitely has changed a lot since then. Doesn't mean that freeze is no longer good. There's just a lot of enemies you can't freeze anymore. And let's have a look at our first couple artifacts. Okay, an attack sands and yeah, the sands. I should mention what I'm farming for. I'm trying to get an attack circlet or a better cryo flower. Those are the things from the first video that really, really sucked on my Ayako. The reason why I'm thinking of going an attack circlet is because eventually at some point you have too much crit that you're better off getting more attack actually. So I've kind of almost reached that point on my Ayako. So we're going to see if we can get some more attack on her. So what does that mean for Ayaka, well, you can still play her freeze, and she's still amazing in freeze, especially if you grab Shenha this rerun, you've got Kazaha, or some sort of grouping, she's still really, really good. Where she falters is they're introducing more and more enemies, or bosses mainly, that can't be frozen. Especially with things like the Wiener, right now in the Abyss, it is invulnerable half the time, you have to hit it with a certain element that swells to reduce its armor, and you don't even get that much time to hit it. So it makes it very, very hard to play Ayaka freeze into that. Alternatively, there is one solution to that. She does have one other team comp you can play, and that is Mono Cryo. I feel like a lot of you guys were expecting me to say Melt, but in reality, Melt doesn't actually work on Ayaka. Her burst applies to Cryo way too fast that you end up just having Cryo on the enemies, and the Melt happens afterwards. So, Mono Cryo it is. Today, I'm going to try setting her up with a Mono Cryo team, especially since I have Kazaha and Shinha now. I want to see how that performs. Um, okay actual garbage. I really do want to get my Ayaka in a nicer position than she is currently. I feel like I've mistreated her by giving her the Ananoma. It's been 11 whole months. She's still using the same sort of gear that she was before. So hopefully I can upgrade her a lot today. Regardless, we'll be upgrading her talents in addition to her weapon choices and her team comp. So hopefully, hopefully she ends up doing a lot more damage. I think... Okay, just keeps giving me the wrong set. We're going to run four more times on this domain and see if we can get anything else. Otherwise, I'm going to start re-rolling. Okay, let's see if we've got anything good. I was looking for a flower. <laughs> it's it's pretty awful, I'm not going to lie. If only I had crit damage, then it would be perfect. And a HP sands. Actual garbage. Let's see, we've got three more chances here. We'll do a little bit of re-rolling later. And hopefully, Ayaku can get a solid upgrade out of this patch. Okay, please. Oh! <gasps> Okay, could be good, could be good. And garbage, okay, cool. Not exactly the piece I was hoping to upgrade, but you know what? I'm gonna take it. Okay, crit damage. If it gets attack, maybe it's okay, but really we just wanna see crit, attack, and ER. Last run. Okay, more garbage, perfect. Okay, let's get to fixing my Ayaka. So first of all, this is the normal freeze team I probably would use. You can replace Shinchu with Kokomi or Yelan, and this works just as well. What I'm gonna do is I'm not actually going to use a freeze team. My main problem right now is that we have a lot of bosses that, you know, we just can't freeze. But with Shenha and Kazaha, as well as some Ayaka upgrades, I'm hoping that we can still blast them like it's butter. First of all, we still have to have Ayaka. Then I'm hoping we can use something like Diona to shield and heal as well as Kazaha and Ian buff. Then we have Kazaha and then we have Shenha. Quickly show off my team before I begin. So Diona's using Sacrificial Bow to try to give the team more energy. Though with three Cryo, you probably should have been okay. Kazaha's Sack Sword with a four-piece VV. And then Shenha. The Shenha video hopefully should be on the channel. At the time, I had 3.5k attack, but I've opted to go for a Favonius because I really was struggling with energy. So this is a supportive team, all focused around giving Ayaka more damage. First of all, the easy one, Alhytham, hand that over. So immediately our stats shoot up. So we've almost got 40% crit right now and 315 crit damage. Obviously, there are diminishing returns on crit damage. You don't want this much crit damage, but we will be switching some of this crit damage out, giving her more crit rate because if we're running mono cryo, we don't actually want Blizzard Stress set as a four piece because we're not really freezing them and not getting the full benefit. Then finally, we're going to have to fix this attack situation as well. So now that we've swapped the weapon, I think let's quickly do the talents. So I've already crowned her burst, so there's not a lot for for us to change there. But E could use some love to be honest and uh, we do have a lot of materials left over. The one that we're lacking the most is probably the handguards actually more than the talent material. Farming them are a pain in the ass so let's level up her E a little bit at least to level 8. And I'm thinking I might level up her auto attack one more time. So we need one more handguard. Let's go make that. Just one. There is 10% chance for Sucrose to double this. Am I feeling lucky? Nope. <laughs> okay. 
Let's level up her auto attack. So now this is a nine out of 10. Really, really solid. Probably about a 5% damage increase. The E is going to do a lot more as well. And the burst, we already know that was maxed out. Okay, so finally, it's time to take a look at these artifacts. What I'm thinking is we might do two piece Glad, two piece Blizzard Strayer, just because yes, the four piece still technically works. You get 20% crit rate out of it. But alternatively, I think if we have an, a little bit extra of attack, that would be more solid. Since we have a Glad already on the flower, the feather is pretty solid. I think that's six crit damage or crit rate rolls. Not sure if I have anything with more. This one has five plus two attack. Honestly, Honestly, this might be a little bit better. We want more attack and we more, want more crit rate now that we're switching off of the uh, four piece. In terms of the sands, the sands is actually really solid as well. We've got three crit rate rolls, two crit damage, one ER. We don't talk about the flat attack. That is a disaster. Then we've also got a cryo damage goblet. This one I was kind of coping. We have four damage rolls. It's not bad. It's not good either, to be honest. So let's have a look at what we can switch out there. This is probably my best cryo item. Artifact, we've got five crit rate or crit damage rolls and two attack as well. This one's also not bad. It's pretty much just picking whether you want crit damage or crit rate. But ultimately, I think having a little bit more crit rate might be more important here. And lastly, we want to switch the circlet. This one we can off piece, which is nice and convenient. The main thing is currently we've got crit damage, which is making our total crit damage 318%, which is insanely high. I don't think we need it to be that high. Ideally, what I want instead is to uh, round out my crit rate and get some more attack. So what I'm thinking is we can actually use one of my attack percent circlets. I keep them around just for situations like this in case I can actually get some value out of them. I have a few that have double crit rate rolls. Hopefully we have one that has energy recharge on it as well. That would be ideal. I'm not sure that exists, but we do have a lot that are four lines. So we have three of them already that have two crit rolls. So one, two, and three. And this one looks like it's the best. So let's go with this first. We want to see as much crit rate as possible. Ideally, it went into flat attack. Hmm. Do we give up or do we keep going? We can switch. It's very easy for us to pivot. Let's see. This is like, you're no longer my favorite child. We move on to the, the next child. Okay. You are also not my favorite child. We're going to, we're going to have another child when your parents keep having children. This is why you're a disappointment. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Okay. And this one went into HP. So now we have three disappointments. Um, <laughs> what we could do is I can take one of the ones that have, wait, I have another one. Wait, and it's max rolls on both. Wait, you could be the the promised one please go into crit okay okay maybe maybe you maybe you don't mess this up okay no pressure or anything but don't mess this up oh, flat attack. okay it's fine maybe to 12 i can believe okay um this is not exactly the direction i wanted to take it that is a lot of crit damage once again but maybe some crit rate maybe just give me like two crit rate rolls let's balance this out a little bit please oh my god uh, flat attack. I mean, eh, maybe one, two, three, four, four useful stats. We have this, which also has four useful stats. Are there any other ones that potentially could be good? You know what? Maybe I should try leveling some of these and see if they can get energy recharge as the full stat. If they do, that would at least be better. Okay. Speak of the devil. <laughs> this is perfect. You are now my favorite child, please. Okay. That's fine. We do need energy recharge. It's a bit scuffed. Okay. Oh my god, I just accidentally used everything. Well, so what did it do? It did one more crit rate, one more crit damage, and one more ER. You know what? It's actually kind of not awful because we do need ER. So now we have... Wait. This is not... This is not a glad piece. This is... <laughs> oh no, this is not a glad piece. Um, Do I have any good Shimanawa flowers then? Perhaps we can swap that around. I don't know if there's any that have 40 crit value though. Yeah, I'm not sure there's any that has 40 crit value. Oh, actually, I lied. This is 40 crit value. Who town could I possibly borrow this? How's our stats looking? We have near 50% crit rate, but if I switch this around, I think we get a little bit more. Okay, so we switch this around. We lose some crit damage. We got a little bit better crit rate and we also have 2.3 almost 2.4 thousand attack so we've essentially gained 200 attack okay we've actually lost crit rate because we've lost the sense but we've also gained another 20 percent crit damage and a tiny little bit more er overall this should do more damage though and i think everyone else on the team should have the right gear we can officially get ready to start testing 
Okay, so every single time we start this the same way, testing the same thing, let's go fight the Vishap. As long as it's not a cry one, I think we should be good. Also with the dash, normally over surfaces like this, it's fine. But the second you face some of these rocks, you have trouble. Like, like what, what just happened there? I don't know. It used to be really, really bad, but now it's probably 50% better, but it's still not perfect. Okay, lucky for us, it's not a cryo one. Oh, no energy. What happened? This is the chance for us to farm some energy for the homies real quick. Okay, perfect. So the rotation probably goes something like this. And then we go E, Q, and then, and then we burst. Let's see how much damage the burst is doing. 35 to 25,000. And I, I think that's without me using the Ayaka dash at the start as well. What about an E? 30,000? Okay, not bad, not bad. I think that wasn't even with all the buffs included. Honestly, pretty solid. I feel like if I had perfected the rotation, we probably could have killed it almost instantly. Okay, next up, I want to fight the Mushroom Chicken. So this is another example of an enemy where you can't really freeze it. Fortunately, we don't have to fight it all that often in the abyss. Uh, it occasionally shows up now, but let me quickly get some energy first. Let's see how many particles it takes to recharge the whole team. Okay. That should be everyone. Cool, not too bad. I think even with the lower ER, if you have a three and cryo unit, you should be okay. So let's try this again. We start with Diona, E, Q, Kazaha, E, Q, Shenha, E, Q, okay, E, Dash. We did 50k with the E and the burst at 35. Honestly, huge. That is really, really solid. I think pretty much we should be able to chop up most bosses. And then once you drop the burst, you do a couple auto attacks, you do a couple E's, and then you rinse and repeat. You're back on Diona, you repeat the cycle. So it's actually not too bad. What I might do is we're going to test it out on a couple more bosses. What I want to test is this flying robot over here. And then finally, we're going to finish up with the Wee Nut, which is the bane of my existence in the abyss right now. Oh no, we can't take the shortcut. Uh, unfortunate. Good thing we have legs. Oh, except I'm stuck on literally every piece of geometry. Um, <laughs> okay, this is hell. So everyone on the team needs a little bit of energy. So this time, maybe two E's. Okay, that's one. That's two. Please. That's three. Okay, and hopefully... Holy shit, did we just do 50k with the E? Whoa. Oh my gosh. Okay, that is super solid, actually. I mean, I've never seen my Ayaka do this sort of damage on bosses before because usually you just bash your head in because you're not getting any crits because you can't freeze them. But with a mono cry team like this where you've rebuilt her, actually pretty good. All right, that's it. I think I'm ready. I'm going to fight the Weenut. This is a thing of nightmares for me, but I think it's time to face my fears. I just need to get some energy real quick. Hello? Wait, can he shoot me if I'm just ducking? Oh, he can. What? He's cheating. I'm literally under the ground. How? How did you hit me? I don't exist right now. You, you can't even see me. Feels clogged. His toilet? All right, let's do it. I'm not scared anymore. Let's fight it. Oh, I'm going to break my kneecaps doing this. This is too high. Oh, okay, we live somehow. So the goal is I'm not actually going to commit until we see him do the attack where he's flying around. So I'm just going to pretty much being chilling for a while. Okay. Whoa, I've never seen that attack before. What the hell is this? That's three attacks. I think after this fourth attack should be time for him to fly up and then we can test our rotation. Oh, I lied. You're going to... Oh, do you think that's a butt or a mouth? Did he just spit on me or poop on me? I'm, I'm very perplexed. Here we go. Okay. So now we burst. A little bit of a scuffed rotation, but that's fine. And now we burst. Let's see. 42,000? Holy shit. Mom, I'm not scared anymore. <laughs> Honestly, that was really, really crazy. Well, I'm pretty happy with that. Let's go round it off. Wait, I forgot how gorgeous Inazuma was. So now that we've tested Ayako again, and it's been 11 months and the meta has evolved a lot, where does she really stand? Depending on the type of content you're versing, as long as you're able to adapt your build, whether that's Mono Cryo or Freeze, it seems like she's still pretty good. I wouldn't say that she's the best or undisputed. Maybe in some certain type of content where AoE or you have the ability to freeze enemies, she's still really, really good. In Mono Cryo against single 
target. She's also not bad, but I wouldn't say she competes on the same level as things like Utel, Vaporize, Hyper Bloom, which is a lot more accessible, or things like Spread or Aggravate. So whether she's worth pulling or not, that's ultimately up to you guys. She's still really, really good, and the content does cycle into the Abyss every now and then, so I would recommend everyone having at least one freeze comp. Thank you all for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe if you got this far into the video. I'm streaming several times a week on Twitch, so make sure to follow and check me out there. And we have a community Discord link for all of those in the description. Love you all. Take care. And I'll see you next time, please.